Okay, it's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're starting a new game tonight. This is 2064, read-only memories. This is a very chill, uh, narrative-based adventure game. It's something that we won't be doing a whole lot of shooting and shoot bangs on, I guess, and I don't think I can use a controller for this. Oops. All right, that's fine. Awesome keyboard it is. So I know very close to nothing about this other than it looked really super cool when I was walking past it at PAX West 2016. Bought it pretty much on the spot and said, I'm gonna stream this at some point. Here we are, here we are, let's start a new game. Let's do this. Hey, game over, how you doing? Okay, good, we got an, we got an intro sequence. We gotta learn the lore. I think it's voice too, so I don't have to make silly voices to uh, read this aloud here. Neo San Francisco. 2064 AD. All right, so we're 50, 47 years in the future. flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification. Hey, G.I. Jones, how you doing? Enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Hey, any part, you say. Millions of people jack into the world every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain-to-machine technology. Easier All right, access to genetic so far. modification leaves hybrids walking the streets, looking less human every day. <laughs> However, okay. some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. Might have to adjust the volume on this a little bit. I'm not sure if my they settings actually took. Now Holy crap, that guy are leading looks fucking rad. Place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Ah, suck shit raiders, I got stomped by the 49ers. <laughs> managers ...are compiled with virtual intelligence and... Okay, the relationship like organizational managers, not read only... But this all right, okay, okay. Height, ...at their core, they, they are, are only brainless, brainless machines. machines. Organizations, like the human revolution, seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. Uh, this is sort of anime, and I like it. I like it so far. The rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. Oh, all right, here, here's our conflict. Is, is this our scientific this, hubris incoming here? Humanity's destiny will be altered. Okay, forever. all right. Whoa, whoa, geez, all right. That's very kawaii anime right there. All right, we into it. Well, beam bomb, beam bomb, boom bomb. Title screen. Okay, I can dig it. I can dig it. A new cyberpunk adventure. Let's do this. Cyberpunk adventure. All right, I want to skip this. I want to make sure we we get everything. We get the full full experience here. So let's see what we got. What do we got? What do we got? The prologue. I'm sorry. The prologue. Twelve twenty twenty sixty four, Neo San Francisco, home sweet home. Oh, it's a point and click. All right, we'll see what we got. Hey, not so sweet. Musty might be a better description. Oh, come on, it's twenty sixty four, and we can't get some better places to smell like not musty. All right, what else we got? What, what do I what do I got for items? I have. An ID. What's what's the ID? A small plastic ID card with my name, picture, and stats. All right, it's not gonna tell me what those are, huh? Okay, that's fine. Oop, sheet of paper. Let's uh, talk to it. <laughs> Page only holds the opinions of its author. This one's blank. All right, well, let's pick it up. Our suits the room's aesthetic better with it there on the ground. Don't you think? Well, damn it! Don't let me. Don't give me the option to pick it up if you're not gonna let me pick it up. That's dumb. All right, let's look at this. That was a vertical sliding window. Currently broken. Window being propped open by that book. <laughs> can I can I grab the book? Copy of Wigfield. Sometimes the old books are the best. Keep your window propped up. Alright, let's take it. Going pretty fast after multiple reads. Ah, dang it. Alright, alright, that's fine. That's fine. What else we got? A plant? Pretty bad shape, and this is supposed to be one of the easier plants to take care of. Can we take it? More fragile than snowflake, okay. Can I talk to it? One out there. All right, all right, fair enough. What do we got here? Is this a stack of paper? A stack of paper for my unpublished novel. All right, well, whatever. What else we got here? 
Uh, but did Hemingway go full digital if he were in 2064? I don't know. Hemingway's dead. Can't exactly ask him. All right. Look, touch, and take everything. Yeah. Yeah, this is a... Uh... You know, like a Sierra Adventure Games, right? Whatever you can pick up, you damn well better pick up. Because you're going to need it later. What do we got? Pair of GX Ultra Beats. Beats with a Z. Better try them out so you can start crafting a review. All right. Let's, let's grab that shit. Excellent. Can I put those things on? You have to do a product review on it. Okay. They're smart headphones, so you should be able to use them with some things lying around your apartment. Okay. Slap those bitch-ass things on. Uh, look at them. Top of the line and but top of the line and budget headwear. Awesome. Oops. All right, play some music. Oh, nice! It's the jukebox. I like it. Nice. I like that. Okay. All right. So we got that. We got a sink. I don't know exactly what that ooze is. Only that seems to be growing day by day. Well, can we drain the shit then? <laughs> it's disgusting. I might just make it worse, and it did a little bleep blop thing, so that's disgusting. Can I talk to it? Will it answer back? Aw, oh, alright. Sink. A poster? What's the poster? Friend Hayden gave this to you. The group is old. The music is timeless, that's what he said at least. Alright, can we take it? Oops. Uh, let's take that shit. Load bearing poster. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, we got a laptop, we got some coffee. Excellent. Coffee, the great equalizer. Wish the day you assume. All right, can we take the coffee? Take a sip of the old stale coffee. Damn it, why isn't it fresh? <laughs> it's also really gross. Well, talk to the coffee. Ah, uh, cooled off. We lost the hots a long time ago. That's funny. All right, that's real nice. All right, oh wow, that's a tiny ass fridge. What do we got? Your screen on the front says mustard, half full, spoiled milk. Ten days past expired. Ew! Welcome to the technological future, which we can't do a damn thing about. Open the fridge. Bottle of mustard and a carton of spoiled milk, which has developed an odor. Maybe the spoiled milk is one more good day on it. Maybe. Well, take it. <laughs> the Chivo for it says, wow, that's gross. Awesome. Okay, so we got some spoiled milk. Good bit past the due date. All right. Just in case. Never know when you might need that. Look at the bed. Home within your home. Nothing like curling up under those blankets, escaping away for a while. That's right. Submit your article before you turn in or you won't have a place to sleep for long. Well, all right. Okay, so we looked at the plant, the poster, the paper, the paper, the sink. Let's see if what other hot areas there are. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the door. Please you feel safe behind this newly installed security door. All right. What's that? Oh, I can use shit on it. All right. Check that you're laying down and begin to play some soothing ocean sound effects, lol. Mm. Alright, so wait, can I, like, use my- oh wow, okay, oh, I get it, I get it, alright. Let's not use the ID card on the coffee. No. Here's a review copy, GX probably wouldn't appreciate coming back covered in coffee. Can I put the spoiled milk in the coffee? Ew. No, I guess not. Okay. Uh, can I give the spoiled milk to the plant? Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> can I pour the spoiled milk in the sink? Oh, no. Indescribable inhumane horrors. <laughs> okay, alright. The headphones. Hear the sink gurgling in high def. Nice. Awesome. Alright, let's look at this laptop here. Good old Laffy. May not be the most powerful or the fastest or have the best screen, but well, it works. That's technology for you. Let's start her up, see what we can do here. Live Intelligence Processing System, aka Lips. Nice. Oh, nice. Technology hasn't changed all that much, have it? Article due tonight. Better finish it before bed. Alright, fair enough. Let's take a look at the news. Beloved morning show all about news and entertainment. People in Neo, Oklahoma. Wow. Why why do we have Neo cities everywhere? What happened to all these cities? Shows online newspaper called The Scanline, huh? Clever. Usually all about feel-good news, but it does focus on serious current events at times. Well, okay. 
Can we go there? Oh my goodness. All right, current events. Take a look. Human revolution. Oh, that's it. Can we read it? Remains vigilant in hashtag stay human protest in upper market. December 19th, human revolution is on day 10. They're protesting, blah, 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 blah. Okay, highlighted words are probably important. Human revolution, genus clinics around the city, including those in the East Bay and down the peninsula. Use the genus placing treatment facility. Okay, good to know. Has been met with much controversy since the organization reached mainstream exposure over the past few years. Mort Crane, that's probably an important name, spoke to OK today. Exclusively according to him, most genus workers are up in arms, claiming they're being terrorized in their own city. Oh boy. Seems awfully prescient, doesn't it? Here to help people who need gene therapy for their own personal reasons, whatever they are. Individual rights have always been of paramount importance. We believe that our customers have the right to live as they please. Or require. The human revolution stands behind the claim that genus is diluting the human experience by- Oh my, my goodness, all right. A little bit hipster there, that's right. By providing hybrids with gene splicing treatments. It feels that the goals stated by genus, in addition to newer cybernetic technology, are warping humanity into a very scary, dark future. Well, let me tell you, the future of 2017 sucks too, man. And this future of 2064 doesn't seem nearly as bad. But who knows? We just started. We'll maybe see what's going on here. Playing God in the most senseless of ways. We were born human. Who are we to mess with our genes and start turning everybody into who knows what? It's ridiculous and scary. It's not human. It's not human! Okay. More information to follow the story develops late into holiday 2064. All right, what do we got? This Charlie Nova. Read hey, that it's Whoa, Charlie Jesus Nova, Christ. host of Star in the Stratosphere. Star and in the Stratosphere. And in the stars. Join Ryan oh, DiGiossio <laughs> and the Hassie Boys for our 10th annual TMI New Year's Eve special. TMI. Where I'll interview <laughs> some of the hottest celebrities and find out what their plans are for 2065. Tune in or join us live at Union Square for the big show, starting at 10 p.m. Okay, I'm starting to understand why you turned off the voiceovers. That was kind of scary. That was kind of scary. Sports article. What we got? Sorry about our hometown Neo SF 64. No, 60, 49ers. All right, let's read that shit. Uh, hashtag Quest for Ten is back on. Big game at new at New Candlestick. An important question everyone's mind. Can the 49ers punch their ticket to the playoffs and bring the Lombardi Trophy back to Neo San Francisco? Wow. All right. So they're still keeping that around. That's cool. 47 years on, they still got the Lombardi Trophy. It would mark the first win since the move to New Candlestick after an almost 50 year hiatus from the city. It's returning. They've had disappointing losses to the New York Giants and the Mexico City Luchadores. Oh. All right. Mexico is in the NFL, huh? All right. Found a fresh coach. Controversy surrounds her new quarterback, Patricia Lopez, as some vocal sports fans continue to accuse her of having illegal cybernetic enhancements. <laughs> ah, so the Olympics is boiling down into the national leagues now. Okay. Certain modifications to implants are banned by the league, but their official reports state their repeated investigation found no evidence to substantiate these rumors. Relevant to point out that Lopez is the first woman to ever be quarterback in a major football team. Okay. No WNFL, I guess. 49ers look to reclaim their top spot since their last win with the Super Bowl LXXIX. What is that? 70, 79? Victory over the Tokyo Titans. Sunday's game is a rubber match, and the winner secures a spot in the playoffs between our uh, blah, 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 the Kansas City Chiefs. Close game to say the least. Okay. What we got here? Local news article. Broken down Froyo stand? Oh shit, we gotta read about that. Only gave park vandalism on the rise. Reports show that local foodie booth JJ's Froyo was destroyed last night in what appears to be another case of a rogue rom committing an act of vandalism. But ROMs are, van are, are brainless, or so the intro told us. The car was evidently attacked and damaged by a large ROM that had no shell. Witnesses state that the alleged perpetrator has been randomly appearing at night before lumbering back in the nearby trees, blah, 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 blah. It was the first case of ROM being reported to live on its own in the wild. At least say that tracking down a potential owner of the ROM is likely impossible. So, of course, they're not going to do it. Police aren't going to do their job. Wow. Big shock. Some speculate the strange ROM may have been framed by vandals who set their crime deliberately to make it appear as if it was carried out by the ROM, rogue or under orders. It was a parallax, and they assured us that the rogue ROM is purely a myth. It tends to pop up conveniently when low revenue businesses have the urge to file an insurance claim. Whoa. That is some top level shade right there. I like that. Not appreciate the reports of vandalism being attributed to their models, of course. They got some iRobot shit going on here, too. 
Is this the wild round the real deal, or could it be a fairy tale? Everybody knows looking to make a quick buck. After something else. Alright. Neato burrito. Alright, let's go back. Boom, buck a boom. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. All right, so that was news. Uh, let's read our mail. Hell is so terrifying, so specific, so personal that no other living thing should dare enter. Well, the only person with the password. All right, let's go in there. Oh my god, even in the future, email sucks. Let's look at spam. Get cheap crash. Only 99 creds for 30 day supply. Two 12 stims. All right, spam hasn't changed much. Scam mail. Princess, and oh my goodness, scam mail hasn't changed much in 47 years either, apparently. Heirs to the digital empire of the horse fortune. I'm sorry, H O R S E fortune. Right to you today is Nina Health. <laughs> I'm frozen. I need to transfer it to at least five different accounts or the World Bank will seize my credits amounting to 420,000. Wow. As the credit economy deflated so much that that's not really a whole lot. If you could send your personal credit ID marker to me immediately so I can send you your 20% of the fortune. I only require that you send half back upon receipt of the funds. Keep the rest of the money. The best part, there's literally nothing that can go wrong. <laughs> yeah, clearly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is Vegemite. Alright, nope. No thanks. No thanks. Oh, a bill that reads past due. Uh oh. Past due in the amount of 1,300 credits. Failure to restore your account may result in termination of service. 1,400 credits for power? Jesus fuck. The future is expensive. <laughs> Food or electricity. Oh boy. Hey, I'm lead edit editor for WTF Sounds. So it looks like OMG Zounds to me. Not WTF Sounds, but whatever. Oh, formerly OMG Zounds. I should have kept reading. <clears throat> a new up and coming audio review feed looking for hot talent to a platform. Love to feature any product reviews you'd like to do for us. Okay, how much? How much are you gonna be? How much are you gonna be? Oh, we're doing it for exposure! Fuck off with that garbage. Yeah, no shit. People die of exposure. What? Yeah, that shit hasn't changed in 47 years, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, your rent is nearly due. Better get that article submitted soon. All right. Promotional email. Five credit signs in infinity. Okay. All your daily calories with none of nutritional value. What? <laughs> that seems like a really bad idea. What do we got? Invite to come see the lighting ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown from your friends at Dagojusha DDS. All right. <laughs> you know, dentists always seem to get a little bit too personal with you. <laughs> it feels like a trap, probably a trap. Yep, no doubt. Weekly update. Weekly update from Vintage Tech, your number one source for classic technology. King of Click, a retrospective on the classic model and keyboard. <laughs> nice. Couldn't use the Model M keyboard, could you? Couldn't do that. Um, let's unsubscribe from that garbage. What? Yeah, okay, even in the future, unsubscribing from bullshit sucks. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, that's email. <laughs> what else we got here? Nothing. All right, lip slide. Well, let's take a look at that. Premier Online Video Network, this app is like a mesh of all active streams. All right, so Twitch, Netflix, and YouTube all rolled into one. Let's take a look. Less pornographic feeds, damn it, why? <laughs> limited video game streams, all right, fair enough. Old concert recordings, pretty sweet, and live cams of baby animals. Hmm, my choice is clear. Is it now? All those seem like pretty good choices. <clears throat> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, that's right, because I needed to I need to review these headphones, so I need to play something through them. Okay. Alright, okay. I'm already enjoying this, you know, I We've been playing a lot of shooty McShoot Bang games and that's cool. But uh, <coughs> oh, not die here. Um, but it's nice to have a nice chill one every now and again. Part of work is done, okay. 
So really, nothing? They're not gonna let me look at the video game streams of the future in 2064? It's probably the same garbage, to be honest with you. All right, let's see what we got. The fanciest program, that's the only word editor that still gets updates for a machine as old as yours. My machine is only like two years old, isn't that what the startup screen said? It's not that old. Fuck, all right, open it up. Time to get work out of the way. Fuck yeah, that's exactly how I feel. Let's do it. Telling your soul, bit by bit. <laughs> See, working 47 years hasn't changed, Eddie. Oh my goodness, now to send it off. All right, we done? Boom, bam, boom. Telling review of GX Ultra Beats to my ticket out of poverty into a book deal. Surely, yeah, whatever. Time for bed? No, I want to go out and explore the city. I want to see what 2064 looks like. Uh, is that it? All right, let's log out. All right, I want to go outside. Let's go outside. It's late and nothing is really open right now. Well, damn it. Ah. All right. I guess we'll go to bed. Let's use the headphones. <laughs> Switch over to the news and instantly regret it. Jesus. All right. So this game first came out in 2015, right? And then they kind of did some rework, some remastering. And they released it as 2064 read only memories as uh, part of their PS4 release. So this seems like instantly prescient, right? Because the news nowadays sucks ass. A mini price increase, another new company, another disaster, another story not broken by you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> In paid to write this review, no one expects you to be this morally grounded. Oh boy. Wow, that's a little on the nose, too. All right, I guess we should go to bed. Can we talk to the bed? Only chats back when you're sleep talking. It's not the most well designed function. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's, let's go to sleep. It seems to be our only our only recourse here. Mm, mm. Oh, what's this creepy ass bullshit? Uh. All right. Um. Ah, good. You're finally awake. Jesus, that's creepy. All right. What? What's the story here? <laughs> um. I'm honestly not sure why most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. It is. I can tell you that much, Mr. Question Mark. Question Mark. Question Mark. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's a, little, it's a little creepy. Are you significantly opposed <laughs> to cybernetic augments? Um, is that, is that a real question that I need to answer? <laughs> what? How did you get into my apartment? What the heck? <laughs> oh boy. Um, okay, let's let's be reasonable about this. How the f did you get into my apartment? I came in through the door, of course. Well. All right, that's that's a pretty literal answer, I guess. Ask a literal question. Get a literal the answer. The graphic algorithms it uses are actually quite atrocious. Okay, that's. Mm. <laughs> oh. It only took me 17 trillion clock cycles to break your entry code. 17 trillion, huh? Eh, that's not that bad. It looks rather imposing, but it's actually a knockoff of the Secugate M stroke 14723 stroke <laughs> Nice, e. I'm glad they pronounced the strokes, that's good. I would have gone with hyphen, but, or dash, but stroke sounds pretty cool. 17 trillion? <laughs> the Secugate whatever? I knew my landlord was full of it when he said it was the best, hell yeah. Don't feel too bad. Everybody got scammed by that bastard. I actually cheated actually, again when I cross-referenced likely I like this voice. I'm going to keep this on. Stored personal data on you. Damn it, is the character I'm playing at a t playing as a total noob with security? Son of a bitch. That breaks my immersion cuz I am super paranoid about that crap. But whatever. We'll just I'm keep not going. certain why you picked the birthday of your first dog, but it would be sufficiently obscure to defeat most casual attempts to enter. <laughs> okay. Frankly, I felt a little silly that I took the time to do all that once I noticed that the lock on your window is broken. 
And nothing says even creepier than entering through the window. And that you left it open. Wait, I left the door open? Fuck. Damn it. <laughs> uh <clears throat> Oh, my dog's birthday? Yes, I already know the window's broken because I, I checked it. Honestly, it would have taken me longer if I had to enter the codes manually, but it was trivial to slice through the door's firewall and try against the stored data directly. God, even the future security sucks ass. I would suggest investing in an insect model 1355 automatic security door. The 1385 is newer, but I find the added attack vector introduced by the integrated voice commands isn't worth the convenience. Fair enough. Fair enough. The 1355 also oh my God. has 300 <laughs> five-star reviews on Congo. I get it. Instead of Amazon, they picked another jungle. That's fucking great. That's great. All right, back to the important questions then. What the fuck are you doing in my apartments? Oh, I hope you don't mind. I do. <laughs> That's While the point. I do asleep, mind. I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using BISAC. I'm sorry, SAC what now? Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. Okay, uh, can you un unclog the sink while you're at it? As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've uh, run into a bit of a snag. It's too old, just go ahead and say it. My computer's a piece of shit too old. All right, fine. I'm, I'm curious now. Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have had a critical failure while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. <laughs> okay, all right. An electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. So you fried my machine, thanks. I would consider it no great loss, though. Why were you using that dinosaur to begin with? This is a little on the nose. I don't know. I don't know if I like this. <clears throat> I don't have enough money. Don't fret. Oh, really? Do you have like 50 bajillion credits or whatever it's going to cost? I did manage to back up your data drive contents on my storage before the crash. All right. Well, that's fair enough, I guess. Additionally, I am willing to serve as your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. Okay, all right, that's reasonable. He's still kind of broken entered, but all right. It is the least I can do. <laughs> I can think of a few other things you can do, but whatever, let's just keep going. Still haven't told me while you're here, that's right. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, <laughs> but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. <laughs> all right. I have all okay. the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. All right, who the hell is Hayden? Hayden Weber. Wait a minute, did we read about Hayden that I already forgot? Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. Huh? Okay. I've seen Hayden in over here. Where is he? Oh, wait, who the fuck I is don't Hayden? I really know. That's why I'm here. Shit, I feel like I forgot something important already. That's really bad. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but you're certainly <laughs> the most statistically supported. <laughs> what? Oh, man. Okay. All right. <clears throat> uh. All right. What makes you believe that? I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. And I'm the most Based reliable on one in there, huh? deductions of... Okay. Personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive. You were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. Well, you just fried my computer, so I'm a little bit less willing to help you. And the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. Uh. Okay, I'll be a, I'll be a good dude here. I'll, I'll try to help you, I guess. The numbers don't lie about your investigative skills. 
But I will admit your total lack of recent successes is worrisome. <laughs> I'm a journalist, not a fucking investigator, man. Come on. This creepy ass robot is throwing shade like right out the gate. Don't worry. Bastard. You haven't even you, told me your I name yet. You. You're strong willed and capable. All right, that's a little bit better. Keep that shit coming. If anything, it's worth trying for Hayden. All right. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. Okay. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. Okay. I crawled out of a window and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. All right. They went out for him? I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Sounds like he had a lot of enemies then. Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late. Well, it sounds like it was justified. Alert, but he would never Fuck. specify anyone I should fear when I asked. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. <laughs> All right, so you deduced the code on my door, but you couldn't figure out your owner. We'll go with owner. Couldn't figure out your owner's enemies. What the fuck? There are several multinational corporations <coughs> Such that could make technology. use of his engineering skills. Okay. But I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. I don't know, man. If corporations 47 years from now are anything like the ones of today, why would they want him? He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. Are you sure? I suspect it has to do with me. Okay. Yeah, who are you? Can you give me a name or something? Ah, so I can throw some me. shade of my own. I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> sure I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. Turing, okay. We got a name. Making progress. I know this must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. Okay, that's, that's, that's a bit unflattering, yeah. You're throwing shade on yourself, though, so I appreciate that. <clears throat> Let me demonstrate. I'm a beautiful fish. I'm a strong and beautiful fish. You are correct. That's He's very good. Researching advanced good machine memory. Intelligence at Parallax. Advanced I am machine a intelligence. Personal side project of his. Uh huh? Exploring true artificial sapience. That's a good word. That's a good Scrabble word right there. Sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. <laughs> Hello, the music Dan. How are you doing? <laughs> rule number one is great. Yeah. It is. I feel pretty proud of rule number one. Either to stop his <laughs> research or to take it and use it for themselves. Take it and use it for themselves, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all right. So the hubris of science is starting to drip in here. All right. Uh, uh, how are you any different? Let's, let's go from the top. The I want to hear about most of this. Okay, virtual intelligence. They can appear rather smart, even human seeming, when you talk to them. I don't know if it spawned from the sink. I kind of saw it crawl in through the wind. No, I saw it came in through the door. It didn't come from the sink. Bow, bow, bow. You gotta be rather smart, even human seeing when you talk to them. But they're just cleverly <laughs> programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. Ah, like the chat bots of old. They aren't in <clears> any <throat> way self deterministic. Okay. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but I rather wrote it. compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. Okay, machine learning, gotcha. But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I still I can't get rid of Asimov's three laws of robotics. Can you help me? Guidance. Ah, okay. That's pretty close. <laughs> only program me with the illusion of free will? <laughs> Oh boy, bringing free will into this. How would you know? How would you? I he don't. I asked you, you some bitch. to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find oh, out. Oh boy. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. 
Okay, that's How a fair can response. Any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will. Oh boy, is this gonna get super deep? I don't know if I like this being super deep. Yeah, there we go. There's a reasonable response. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. Obviously you can't, but all right, let's go for it. Indeed, time is of the essence. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car has just arrived. Gee, thanks. You couldn't charge Hayden's account? Fuck. I don't have enough money the way it is. Why are you putting fucking auto cab shit? All right. All right, let's be reasonable about this. Why not go to the police? No, we can't. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. All right, settle down there, Turing. My goodness. Why can't One we? of the last things Hayden told me was to avoid the Don't trust the police? Yeah. We must be cautious about who we inform of this. Okay, so you pick some rando out of his address book to tell him about this instead? I guess that's My fair. My calculations show that the possibilities of a leak are dangerously high. Yeah. Very on the nose. Despite being a challenge to public trust as well as cohesion of departmental policies, is still a possibility to consider. <laughs> Possibility only. That's been very generous. If it becomes public that Hayden has been kidnapped, his life may be put in further danger. Eh, his that's chances fair. of escape would surely decrease. Eh? We must keep this to ourselves for now. Please. <sighs> Alright, I'll continue being a good guy. I'm not gonna throw too much shade at Turing here. Seems genuinely worried. Being reasonable. <laughs> All right, we're at Hayden's apartment. Hmm, that's strange. That looks like a bundle of dynamite on the wall right there, but I know it's a lamp. <laughs> There's a lot of dynamite on these walls. Why do the lights look like dynamite in 2064? That's a bad design. All right, what's strange? Tell me well, about it, Turing. The door for our home seems to have already been repaired. Yeah, that is kind of strange. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Maintenance robot might have misheard. All right, let's be reasonable again. It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. Okay. So possible and At likely best, then. It means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. At best? I don't know. That seems like closer to at worst, but whatever. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, a lucky break. What's that? What? <laughs> it seems my access code still work. All right, fair. That's pretty lucky. Hayden's door has far better security than yours does. Hey, stop throwing the shade at my shitty ass apartment door, Turing. Come on, man. I thought we were past that. All right, all right. Uh, okay, he made some good points about the police and not to trust them. So let's just, let's be careful. Will do. Let's be careful. Let's see what we got here. Doesn't look like there's much of a struggle. I'm not surprised. Window's open though. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. <laughs> Wow, now he's throwing shade on Hayden. Wow. This guy, or girl, or robot, artificial and sentient intelligence, what, what, what did he call himself? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. Hey now, don't underestimate us meat bags now. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. And what would you have done? Spoken at them? Programmed against harming humans. There we go. There's our Asimov's three laws. Of ah. course not. How silly. Really? Oh shit. That's not good. <laughs> to make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Oh dear. This is not a good start. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such sapient. an inhibitor eventually. Oh boy. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. You know, I'm starting to regret helping you, Turing. The regrets are starting to set in. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, let's let's be cool and logical about this. Why I don't you do for it? For the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. Oh, and what reason is that? The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. <laughs> That's putting a lot of faith in society, man. But okay, it fair enough. It isn't acceptable to go on a murderous <laughs> rampage. <laughs> Tell that to some people. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. That's right. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. Yeah, if you stuck around instead of running like a little bitch. <laughs> but I... But? Let me guess, you haven't gotten around that inhibitor, you little shit. Ugh. All right, let's throw some shade of our own here. What's done is done. Let's focus on Excellent finding him. Point. Oh, okay. That was shade, but all right. Whatever. Let's start glad searching he, for glad clues. Glad he appreciated it. Search for clues. Well, we got some busted ass shit over here. A memory card. That looks important. Old high density memory card. Let me guess. It's a Sony Memory Stick Pro 2 Duo or some garbage like that. All right. Well, first let's grab that shit. Looks kind of like a dildo, but we're not going to talk about that. On component in Hayden's headset, he must have been in the middle of working on something. Can we take that shit? Busted. All right. <clears throat> All right, what else we got around here? We got some pictures. Oh, got some pictures. Look at those pictures. All right, so that's Hayden. I'm all over the world working at a company like Parallax. I'm sure you'll be more than well off. Makes sense. Doing much better than the one at home. Damn it, Hayden's better at taking care of plants, too. Let's take that. Oh, damn it. Take the photos. All right, let's use our busted ass milk on that plant. Oh, didn't let me. Oh, ROM parts? Hayden spends so much of his time at home building ROMs, as if he doesn't do enough of that at work. Wow, casting shade at his owner for working too hard. That's nuts, man. Let's pick that shit up. Oh, all right. Well, I don't own a ROM, but I'm working with a mouthy one. Hey, look at these books. Oh, I <clears throat> think I see something under those reference books. Great. I'm glad I told you to look over there. Let's move that shit. What do we got? A tablet. Ah, that device. <laughs> All right, that device. I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. You know, with your track record of busting into apartments at night, I can understand where Hayden's coming from, my friend. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. <laughs> That's a good point, too, I guess. The memory card slot is empty. <laughs> it seems to be a match for the memory card you discovered. Nice. All right. Perfect. Well, let's take a look around yet. Yeah. Game consoles. Fuck yeah. All right. That's more my speed. So what do we got here? What what can we glean from this, do you think? That looks like, uh, looks like a Nintendo 64 in the end there. And good old hamburger console. Might be a, I don't know. Those are way too pixely for me to make those out. All right. What do we got here? Windows? Oh, nice. Oh, it even tells me. Mega 16 and Durlin. Even a family link. Yes. Awesome. Made up consoles. All right. Window. Can we not look at the window? There we go. Hayden likes the natural light that this apartment affords. This window here is where I escaped from. Okay. Well, it's still open, so they didn't bother closing that. a considerable distance to the ground below. Yet you seem none the worse for wear. Uh, all right, how'd you get down? I took the fire escape. All right, that's smart. It's a good idea. Of course you did. <laughs> Can we close it? Long way down. Better be careful out on the balcony. All right, okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What's this? TV. Flipping through some of Hayden's feeds. Tech banter. Ted's code tips. Augmented eye. That one, the last one sounds pretty rad. Buttons on the screen, no need to watch TV. Damn it, come on, man. I just wanted to see what future TV is about. 
Future email is pretty on the nose. Look at his computer. computer. <clears throat> Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM. But desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Damn right. All right. So in 47 years, my job will be fine. How to get in? There might be clues. Unfortunately, no, I don't. Oh, really? You can't use your 1.711 billion cycles to crack his password? And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. Damn it. <laughs> All right, let's let's go. Let's go down the route of self shade here. Your door used a much simpler set of algorithms with a much weaker processor. I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. All right, all right, stop jerking yourself off there too much there, Turing. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. You mean your shade throwing algorithms? Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter intrusion software if I attempt to slice in. Frankly, yeah. even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. All right, download it from the mesh net. Oh, we don't, we no longer have an internet, huh? It's just the mesh net. I could, but much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it, I'm not certain I would be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security expert. Well, that's still better than a bunch of people. The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. That seems like a cop-out answer. I'm pretty sure you're just not that great, Turing. While computers can only think in straight lines, humans can think sideways and upside down. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I lack that ability. Really? I thought you could program around your limitations. Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds, I just don't think I'm very good with computers. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little silly for I a do talking seem to computer. Have some skill with painting, though. <laughs> oh boy. Well, if painting helps us find Hayden, I'll be sure to talk to you. Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. <laughs> well, there's a contradiction right there. Objective opinions do not exist. During you should have to know, you should know that already. Esther doesn't seem like a good doesn't seem like something a robot would be good at. You know, That's shit. true. Machines <laughs> are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. But I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's go back to searching. Yeah, that was that was a good chat though. Good chat. Alright, let's use the memory stick on that garbage. Hayden must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. But they left the tablet behind anyways, so they ain't none too bright. Mm. If only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. All right, Turing, let's leave the shade for another time. We're trying to find your buddy, I guess. Supposed to meet with someone named Tomcat today. Not All right. really. All right, well, that was some good help there, Turing. Thank you. I guess we'll have to go ask. It says right. here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. Stardust is a good name for a club. Castro District? Slightly less good name, but whatever. Let's go with I'll it. mark it on your city map. I have a city map? Okay, I've got a city map. That's neat. Learning all sorts of new stuff today. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. Perhaps. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one confused by this. My city map? Oh, excuse me. 
I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. <laughs> okay. We shouldn't put that off any longer. You know, for this ultra smart computer sapient intelligence thing, your priorities are pretty bad. <laughs> Come Once on, finished, man. I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. Oh boy, can't wait. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. Okay, that's pretty useful. I just need to ask you a few questions. Oh, God damn it! All right. This is an exciting thing, I promise. All right, question the first. All right, let's find out some more info about this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, here it comes. You're not so super smart, are you, Turing? This is just how things are done. Dang it. Come on. That's a fucking cop-out answer I'm if I've ever heard one. I'm I could spend a few quadrillion clock cycles to bypass that part of my operating system. Okay. But that seems less efficient than just running the setup program. <sighs> okay, I guess that's fair. So, here we go! Welcome to oh, the first time slide. user setup for your new relationship Why in is it some like cheesy 90s dating TV show music here? I don't like system. that. Oh sorry, I talked over all this. First time user setup, your new really uh, okay, new ROM, running the latest build apparently live until- okay, alright, alright. I it. need to ask you a few questions, and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. Okay. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide, or contact our support department directly. AKA RTFM noob. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? All right, so here's what we're gonna do, right? My guess is that it's gonna append some random string of numbers bullshit in a perfect mimicry of online garbage naming. And you only get 10 letters? Well, fuck me. All right, all right, all right. Well, let's, let's play this. Let's play this real nice. Uh, no period? Fuck. Uh, no. Oh, there's the space, all right. We're gonna play this pretty straight. You may call me Mr. Bond. Do I wish to keep this name? Yes, please. Thank you. I have input your name. Oh, come on. I wanted you to say it. <laughs> okay, Next, cool, cool, could cool. you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? Ah, nice. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So we got gender neutral, female, male. Let's see what else you got. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, all right, all right, okay. Custom pronouns, huh? Hmm. Hmm. All right, let's see what we Please got. Please enter your pronouns. <laughs> Dang it, they don't give me enough space to put what I want. Uh. Uh. Why does enter say F? Oh, because I have F select. All right. Easy. Easy. <laughs> ah, dang it. All right. Isms. <laughs> ah, shit. Come on, man. I just did this, didn't I? Uh, hymns. Should it be is or are? <laughs> is. Here's how your pronouns look in action. All right, let's see how garbage this is. <laughs> yeah, you went with hism. You see, brought hisms. <laughs> okay. Is that gonna get confusing? 
fucking probably, but we're gonna go with it. Right? It looks fucking perfect. Looks perfect. Thank you. I have input your pronouns. <laughs> Is he his and his and his? <laughs> Finally, I like that. Tell me I your like preferred that. Preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations. I'm sorry. What my diet? Oh, interesting. Okay. Omnivorous is vegetarian. Hello. Kosher, gluten free, vegan. Alcohol free. <laughs> God damn it, Tori. <laughs> uh, all right, all right, all right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty standard guy. So Diet set as omnivorous. Hell Are you yeah. sure? It, well, there wasn't just a carnivorous one, so let's go with omnivorous. Yeah. Thank you for confirming. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data have. into my memory as it becomes <sighs> available. All right, okay. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. My name is Mr. Vaughn, that's right. Hizzy and hism, and I'm different. Does that sound right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds right, okay. Thank you. All right, cool. Cool. Immersion increased by 50%. See, that was relatively painless. <laughs> and funny. You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. All right, so we got some, some time to snoop around, maybe hit a bar. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. Why? That place is a dump. I'll look around a little bit, actually. Oh, all right. When you are ready to leave, just use your map. Okay, fair enough. Uh, actually, did I click on everything? I think I clicked on everything. Can I take these? Dang it! Gain the strength of temptation we resist. Fuck. What if I don't want that strength? Nice! Yeah, let's take it. Let's do it. You're not actually thinking about switching one of those games on right now, are you? Hey, what if I am, Turing? Come on, man. Don't deny a dude his pleasures. Little shit. Ah. All right, whatever. You're drinking a cup of bourbon barrel aged coffee with some bourbon in it. Nice. I got me some scotch tonight. It's delicious. And it's perfect for a game like this. Mm. Mm. Getting kind of low though, so we might have to take a little, a little breaky break very soon. Go get some more. All right, what do we got here? An ID card. We got some super spoiled milk. Can we take this with us, by the way? That was all the content this memory card had. Oh. No. All right. Try this computer. Try the parts. Blah, 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 blah. Plant pictures window. All right, I think we're done here. Good scotch or dollar store swill? Good scotch, man. Not, oh, dollar, really? Do they sell scotch at the dollar store? That seems, oh, and I think I caught that message. Does not auto save. Okay, good. That seems like a bad idea to buy scotch from a dollar store. <clears throat> Don't do that. Oh, all right, so that's the prologue. Very good. Yes, I do know what you mean. <laughs> No, I wouldn't say this is great scotch, but it's good scotch. You know All right, your so we're Crassula back here. ovata isn't doing very well. Crassula ovata. I'm guessing that's the plant. Have you been overwatering it? Well, I can't really water it with the sink in the state it's in. <laughs> Alright, so I've already deduced that it's a plant, so that's a garbage response right there. A lot of you and I have no idea how to respond to it. That's also very true, but I don't want to throw that much shade. But let's go with somewhat ignorant response. It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. <laughs> well, the window is busted. Can you fix the window with your superpowered robotic smartness? Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. Great, thanks. That was very backhanded of you, Turing. 
<laughs> it's named Wilty. I got it from a friend a couple months ago. <laughs> All right. I have, in fact, already taken the liberty of sending a request to his office. Okay, that's good. All right, Turing, you, you can stay for now. And considering the broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair, I am not confident he has a history of following through. Gee, Turing, you think? Way to go. I would suggest good, good confronting deduction. him in person, but I have run a mesh search, and the man is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. <laughs> wow, what a dude to have as a landlord. Fuck me. Perhaps we should bring <laughs> some sort of a bribe? Maybe he will, uh, like the spoiled milk. I will continue to formulate a stratagem. Alright, you do that. Thoughtful of them. The Crassula ovata, also known as the Jade Plant, Money Tree, Lucky Tree, or Friendship Tree, is an excellent and easy to care for houseplant. <laughs> easy to care for, huh? Is that why it's dying? Oh my goodness. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. <laughs> Well, it's not doing very good. Maybe that's why it's dying. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. All right, fair enough. All right, let's let's get let's get our mileage out of this, huh? What do you want me to do about that plant? I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. Uh you just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. <laughs> wow, the shade level is too much. Yeah, sure, fine. Fucking whatever. Excellent. Just do it. Order, order the shit. Charge it to my landlord if you could, please. The supplies should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, uh, All right, one well, other let's thing. Consider it. Yeah, one other thing. Yes, what? When I was doing the research on how to best take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Yeah. I tried talking to the plants, and it didn't let me. Something to the notion. But the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. No shit, man. Rank superstition. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. Okay. It'll really pull the whole room together. <laughs> ah! Nice. Sick big Lebowski quote there, man. Super great. You know, once we get the sink fixed. Oh. I mean, I'm sure I've got a plunger laying around. Can't you take care of that? Oh, it's almost the time uh, Hayden had scheduled bow, to meet bow, with Tomcat. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, really? Oh, we'd spend all this time talking about plants. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. All right. Fair enough. All right. Let's talk to the plant. <laughs> oh man, there's this is end to end. There is no middle ground, huh? <laughs> all right, all right. Mm, with more of that, we'll surely be on the way to lush greenery in no time. <laughs> okay. This action will have consequences, probably. All right, let's look at the, let's look at the computer. Then downgraded to paperweight. Yeah, because this butt munch did something to it. All right. It is Turing, my borrowed companion rom slash investigation buddy. Hi. Uh, hello? Use Turing, use an item on Turing. Here, have, have some headphones. If you examine those headphones on the items menu of your Lips Type M mobile device, you will be able to play any kind of music you like. Oh, I see. So you're just gonna tell me about the items, huh? All right. What can you tell me about this milk? Yuck! I don't have taste buds, and this makes me glad I don't. 
Nice. All right, how about my ID card? Ooh, uh, oh, All right. What can you tell me about my ID card since you know about everything already? I know your name. Hey, you damn right you do. All right, let's look at this sink again. Let's touch that sink. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Let's talk to that sink. Baby. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. Turn on sink. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, there was a cup there. Oh, he fucking organized everything. That's right. Let's take that cup. He's gonna drink from that again. Oh. What's in the fridge? Bleh, you. Alright, anything else we can take a look at real quick? Let's look at the paper. Blank, ready for my jeans. Take that paper. Dang it. Take that poster. Aha, that's where I saw the name before. I'm like, fuck, I know I saw Hayden before. Alright, he gave me the poster. Alright, let's take that poster. Oh, alright, don't touch the poster. Okay. The window, 24-7 view, if you're a fan of up-close masonry, yeah, finished shitty apartment, of course. Suffer in peace. Alright, alright. Let's go meet this mystery informant, I guess. Go to the Stardust Club, meet Tomcat well, or whatever. Looks like the place, assuming the flashing neon signs are telling the truth. <laughs> From the sounds of the music, things are already underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully, we can find Tomcat inside, and some answers. Indeed, good buddy. Oh, of course, there's a bouncer. There's plants. Nice. Awesome future plants. Look at that car. 2062 ZIS CR4 Coupe. Heard for letting everybody know you spent a fortune of credits on a car. Can we touch it? Can we touch it again? <laughs> Let's touch it again. Alright, maybe we shouldn't touch it again. Let's not touch it again. <laughs> oh. Alright. Look at the bounce. I'm surprised they're using a human bouncer instead of a ROM. That's a nice, authentic touch. <laughs> nice. Not exactly what I was hoping to hear from you, Turing, but whatever, it's fine. We talked to him? Welcome to Stardust. Hey there. Alright, let's go in. Hold up there. Oh, come Hi. on! Yeah, sure do. Here. Alright, looks good to me. Alright. Typical adventure game Welcome fair. to Stardust. Hell yeah. This is the place. Oh yeah, look at this before. shit. This looks like my kind of joint. Have I ever been here before? I don't think so. Music's pretty chill. Got a good array of bottles. First time, I don't think it'll be my last. The atmosphere is certainly exciting. <clears throat> sure is. That we can agree on, Turing. I'm Turin. particularly impressed by some of bang, the more bang, subtle bang, effects bang, the bang, music and bang, lights bang, are having bang, on your bang, autonomic bang. nervous system. Uh... Please don't monitor my aut 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 autonomic nervous system there, Turing. Please. I'm asking you nicely. Try not to let yourself get too entranced. At least not until we've achieved our goal. <sighs> Alright. Anyway, where do you think we should start? I think we need a drink. That's what I think. Let's check the bar. Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell us where to find Tomcat. Uh, yeah. Let's ask him about Tomcat. Wow, that dude looks serious. Look at him a little bit. Look <laughs> at his size. Oh. All right, let's talk to him. Morning, friend. What can I do for you? Morning, huh? That's got a charming smile. I like a drink. What are you having? What am I having? Onyx rum? A buzzer? I don't know what the fuck that is. Arctic Harvest? <laughs> this is an apple teeny. Modest Connie, seven minutes. Wolf Bite Shot, Blue Fairy Canopy. These are all pretty good drink names. Rusty Nail, 
That doesn't sound so great. Fluffy Dream, Tasha, <laughs> like, I like Oh, Sugar Rush, fucking, I don't know. Is that a drink or is that just like a straight up response? A beer is disgusting. Sunshine Cloud, Wiener Juice, come on, man. Come on. Like, really? Duggies and Cream, Air Drink, Rademaster, Ingredients. Sorry, what? <laughs> Tickly Sky, Groggy Nog, Power Play. Good God, there's a lot. Busted Lace, Green Tea, Clumsy Belarusian. <laughs> or, I'm sorry, Belarusian. Den Svenska, Bjornstammen. <laughs> Bears Winter Teeny, Tokyo Tea. Maple You Closer, PT, Tastes Like Orange. My goodness. Scotch Drop and Roll, hey, all right. Gut Punch, Spicy Gentleman, Sober Shafur, Netherworld, Blue Boy, Drinking Game, Garibaldi, Bionic Femme, Whiskey, there we go, there, there, it's now you're talking my language, Takalata, TMF, oh my god, wow, Virgin June, Subtle Bitch, Butch Flower, Deserac, Whiskey, Re ew, that doesn't sound great, I see Spike, Air Royale, Core Appeal, okay, alright, 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 give me that whiskey. I mean, I know he said morning, but it's never too early. My goodness, there's a lot of them here. Oh, my goodness. There we go. There's whiskey. So many drinks these days. Uh, remind me, what's in there? Um, whiskey? Drinktionary, the open alcoholopedia says. Just whiskey, no ice, no mixer, straight. All right, I like that. Does that sound good? Yeah, sounds great, let's do it. Ah, all right, you got it. Coming right up. Shouldn't be difficult. <laughs> wow, all right, cool. Now, what is it you need to know? Uh, I didn't say I needed to know anything, but thanks for cutting to the chase, I guess. <clears throat> uh, let's let's play this a little cool, huh? Looking for Hayden. Hayden, scientist guy, does some kind of computer research at Parallax. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Okay. Pretty sure I know who you're talking about, but I don't think he's around here tonight. Yeah, probably not. Our place doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. Go figure. That's fair. I can ask around, find out if anyone's seen him. I'll let you know. Yeah, thanks. That seems like a, a reasonable person. All right, what about you? Oh, <laughs> uh, I should introduce myself. The name's Majid. Majid. Majid, I'm Mr. Bond. How you doing? I've been the bartender of Stardust <laughs> for a few years now, but I've owned it a little longer than that. Okay, oh, so, owner, bartender. Cool shit, cool shit. Uh, what did you do before Stardust? Mostly got myself into trouble. When I immigrated from Pakistan, I didn't have a whole lot of employable skills. Could always use more bartenders, though. But I'm real big, which was enough to get hired for some real dirty stuff. <laughs> Bodyguard yeah. work. Yeah, all right. Truth be told, I fair. hated the work. I didn't want to be a hired fist my whole life. That's also fair. I wanted something regular, peaceful. <laughs> I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. <laughs> All right, well, whatever. Let's go. That's true, and it was true about Stardust. The first six months were great, but after that, the interest dried up and the kids moved on to the next big <clears> thing. <throat> All right, but you're still here though, bro. So you gotta uh, be doing something, I right? I guess I'm just stubborn and kept throwing good money after bad. <laughs> after two years in a remodel, things started to pick back up again. We slowly dug ourselves out of the death hole. <laughs> death hole. We got some regulars around. They started bringing in enough new folks and it reached critical mass pretty quick. All right, well, on that note, I need to take a quick break. I'm gonna grab another drink, drink, and we'll see where this goes. Back in a minute.
Oh, okie dokie dokie. Alright, I'm meeting a Tomcat. You know where they are? I'm pretty sure Tomcat came in earlier, but I oh, don't really? know where they went off to. Uh, okay. Alright, that's fine. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Okay, fair. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. Wow, this dude is super helpful. Makes me kind of suspicious. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta get back to work. I'll keep an eye out for Tomcat and send them your way if I see them. Good luck. Thanks. Enjoy yourself. And don't be a stranger. <laughs> wow, that dude was very pleasant. Okay. <laughs> Rad dancer. <laughs> Okay, got some tables, we got some shit. Uh paid pong. Stanchion. Alright, so we can't go beyond that, huh? Arcade in the VIP section, apparently being isolated far away from the bar. Dance floor and video games makes you important. Ba 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 Alright, let's take a look at this. Arcade cabinet, Megaphobiter. One of the most ghost shootingest ghoul blastness fun. <laughs> All right, let's go do it. A bit too scary. Let's let's do this. Game within a game. Oh shit. Uh, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Let's go. Q. 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 <laughs> okay. Nice little diversion. Nice little diversion going on here. That's fun. F off. F off. Sure. However, I believe you beat it. Yay. We did it. We did a cool thing. <laughs> a high score for sure. Hell yeah. One seven two hundred. We got it. Those ghosts will think twice before messing with you again. Good thing too. Alright, let's see what else we got. We got dancer, we got rad dancer, and we got question mark. And stands a drink trailer quietly. People watching. All right, that seems pretty much my speed. Fancy tables with little touch screens where you can order drinks. Browse and mash. Okay. All right, let's talk to her. Yes. Can I help you? Uh, maybe. Are you Tomcat? <laughs> <clears throat> Looking for someone named Tomcat. Not at the moment. They're usually close enough to hear when their name gets dropped. Huh. All right, that's pretty creepy. So if that's all you needed from me, I'll get back to cutie cruising. Hey, you're, that's that's implying I'm not cute. I resent that. No, that wasn't an invitation to flirt. Damn it. Never an invitation to flirt. All right. All right, I'll leave her alone. I'll be a good dude and leave her alone. <laughs> it may surprise you coming from a nasty hybrid, but I actually don't need luck. Even genotypicals flirt with me. Not like I want them to. 
Hey, come on, man. Why you gotta drop the genotypical slur here? Let's not do that. And I don't know where Tomcat is, so look for them elsewhere. Jeez, all right, no need to get... Okay, okay, here, I'm gonna drop a sick shade here. No need to get catty about it. <laughs> Sorry, ha. did you say genotypical? Bum, 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 yeah, bum. as in not a hybrid like me. Okay. Now then, I'm not here much. to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a pretty sick life standing next to a table. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! That is some master level shade right there. I'm not gonna do that though, because I'm a nice dude. Yeah, all right, whatever. Just get moving. Jesus, all right. Fuck. Whatever. Whoa, all right. We got Hi some... there. I heard you were looking for me. Uh, maybe. What's your name? This seems a little suspiciously convenient. Yours truly, though. All right, we'll go with it. Although, while I, I lack the attention, it'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. I, I, I talked to two people about you. That's considered hollering? Come on, man. I do my share of flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? I guess that's, that's fair. All right, aw. Uh. So, to <laughs> what do I owe the pleasure? Uh, Hayden was gone missing. We found a note saying he's gonna meet you. Yeah, all right. Hayden's it's pretty reasonable. Missing. Yeah, I guess so. Well, it's one way to sour my night. Guess we don't know where he is. I got a little wrong with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. Hey, all right. Just like I gave you the benefit of the doubt, asking if you were Tomcat. We're one and one. Do you know about me? <laughs> Hayden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. Huh. All right. Got some skills. I like that. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. <laughs> Don't we all, Turing? Don't we all? Hayden never the human saw condition. to inform me on what went into designing my programming. That's probably for the best, man. <laughs> Is there anything else you can tell me? Not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Lips OS dance to my tune, but if you Hayden's know what coding I mean. in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Alright, G.I. Jones, I don't know if we're gonna make that substitution. That seems like a, a pretty accurate word already. <laughs> this is a nice game, though. I like something nice and chill every now and again. <clears throat> Anything else I can help with? Uh, do you know where the fuck he is, perhaps? Uh, all right, well, we're not gonna get too personal right away. Uh, how did you know? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited me for my expertise in lips. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. <laughs> Blindfolded and boozy, huh? All right, all right. I think he just Respect. Someone working Respect. On off the books. He ain't the most uh, straightforward kind of man. Fair. Uh, what was he working on? Mostly that little bot you got there. Well, I, I'm sure he had his fingers and lots of pies, but turn <laughs> is all I knew about. <laughs> Uh, do you know why you may have gone missing? I don't rightly know. I can't avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with me, based on his recent behavior. Well, let's see. Uh, Hayden was pretty hush-hush about his work on your creation, but if Parallax found out about it somehow... Ooh, that might have changed things. Hmm, alright. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I'm certain Hayden had some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with him, but... He would just get fired. 
maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. Welp. All right. Green runs on the other side and no ROMs did too. Ooh, it's a powerful OS. And it's since been adapted to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. <laughs> it's right. focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits. And it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. All right, that all makes sense. Wait, what? No! Like, why are these the only two options? I kind of understood that. Gosh dang it. See, I'm trying to play this pretty straight, right? But they don't give me the option to say, all right, that sounds okay. Gosh dang it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, let's not be nasty about this. Play it like a I'm a child. That's a way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs. Okay, within yeah. Within range. Yeah. And they share all files the user hasn't tagged as private. Yeah, okay. I understood all that already, but no, you gotta make me fucking say no. Explain it like I'm a child. It's handy in dense population areas like Neo SF since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out in the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pops. <laughs> yeah. More secure, at any rate. Uh, well, tell us about yourself now. We got oh, the, sure. some of the chit chat out <laughs> of the way. You might have even heard of me in the news way back when. Uh, maybe. I only got to read like one section of news, so whatever. About 10 years ago, I hacked into Parallax's main ROM servers. Nice. Nice. Ooh, caused Respect. one hell of a stink if I do say so myself. People were arguing back and forth whether I was a kid genius or malicious criminal. Eh. A little from column A, a little from column B. Earned myself an enforced net blackout for a few years, but I think it was worth it for the prestige. Yeah, that's probably true. Why I can do parallax. Huh? To see if I could. <laughs> I mean, parallax <laughs> is a mighty big target. Bigger than the government. <laughs> that's pretty fucking on the nose. Oh my goodness. So which one? The kid genius or the militia criminal? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't really do it to steal anything, but I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. That's how it goes sometimes. I chalk it up to the exuberance of youth. And now I try to stay on the straight and narrow. Aw, that's boring. Mostly. <laughs> ah, there we go. Nice. <laughs> okay, never. <laughs> oh, oh, my kidding. Sometimes I treat this place like it's my own little bat cave. <laughs> Fair. What's the deal with the accent? Are you from the south? Probably North Carolina, dog. Fair, right? Sure, it's not the glitziest town in the world, but folks like the way the sun goes down. Still, this ain't a bad town for a southern belle. Lots of clothes. <laughs> I had to get a third walk-in closet. Jesus. All right. Why is that woman giving me such a hard time? I was asking nicely. I was being a perfect gentleman. Oh, don't you worry about Jess, man. All right, that's her name. We got a name. She just don't have a lot of patience when talking to genotypical folks like us. <clears throat> all right, fair. She's had I to guess. deal with an awful lot of pricks. Haven't we all, lady? Haven't we all? Because, uh, well. Yeah, yeah. You don't really need to go into that thought, but. <laughs> uh, because she's a hybrid. Because people are assholes. Because she's a caustic jerk. Uh. All right, let's let's play this straight. Probably shouldn't judge her just yet. Good call. Yeah, that's right. Earning some points. Ask you some more questions. I want to know. It suits you, hon. I want to know. I'm curious. How do we find it? Yeah, I'm not real sure, hon. Well, he's probably too paranoid to have some sort of tracker implanted into himself, I'm sure, right? But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. True enough. He was probably kidnapped, yeah, or so we think. I'll stay here and ask around a bit. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Hey, bartender dude and I talked, like, real super hard, so... I made some friends, all right? Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? Uh, didn't I do that already? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being banished. If Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing yet. 
Best to get all the clues we can find. No doubt. All right, I like this lady. She's very by the book, even though she's a little bit of a lawbreaker. The data cache. But I can be the deal with that. Start. Data cache. Got it. All right, I'll come back when I have the data. Good cache. luck, Turin. You, you keep out of trouble. <laughs> keep out of trouble. <laughs> I like that. That's super good. All right. Um, oh, I can't go back and talk to Jess. That's unfortunate. All right. Let's. Uh, you know what? Can we drink our whiskey that we ordered? Let's drink the whiskey that we ordered. Look at it. Just whiskey. No ice. No mixer. Straight. Excellent. Just what I want. Drink it. I hit the spot. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> I drank my drink. Indeed, I did. Hey, now I can talk to her again. All right, let's go talk to her. Hey, Jess. I how saw you, you found Tomcat. What else do you want from me? Dude, man, just fucking. Can we just chill? I'll make you mad. Among other things, I don't honestly want to talk to you about it. Uh, it happens. Fucking. All right, Jesus. I'm not here to collect your tears and put you on some path to salvation or whatever. What? <laughs> what? What the fuck kind of garbage is that? If you All need right. someone to absolve you of your guilt, go to a confessional, not me. Kill. All right. Well, you're assuming a whole hell of a lot. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I'll do better. Sure you will. What? Do you want a cookie for trying? Jesus, man. There's no winning with you, is Don't there? Don't make it my problem again. Fine. Fucking whatever, man. Jesus. Majid, you're my only friend here. What's the good word? What are you having? Oh, another drink, I guess, huh? What else we got? <laughs> uh, wolf bite shot, sure, why not? So many drinks these days. Oh, uh, you're gonna Her tell mind. me what's in it, huh? What's in that? All right. What is Dictionary, in that? The open alcoholopedia says. One part absinthe, one part melon liqueur, one part lemon lime, one part pineapple juice, and then drizzle of grenadine. Holy shit. Well, the absinthe will fucking knock you on your ass. The rest of it's kind of so so. Does that sound good? Uh, no. Let's let's do something else. Like what? Let's, let's try something else. That, that doesn't sound great. <laughs> Weird juice. <laughs> All right, how about the Rowdy Master? So many drinks these days. Drinktionary, the open alcoholopedia says. One and a half parts gin, ugh. Three parts energy drink and three parts co- Ugh, god damn, no, why? Why with the gin? Does that sound good? No, that sounds like shit, man. Oh. Like what? We're not even gonna try a wiener juice, all right? I'm not even sure, like, I want that. You know what? Need to recover after that whiskey. So many drinks these days. Like, seriously, if you don't know what's in green tea. The open alcoholopedia says. Just green tea. Does that sound good? Sure, why not? Let's let's get some antioxidants. Ah, all right, you got it. Coming right up. Ba 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 Yeah, green tea. All right, let's drink it. Drink that green tea. Refreshing. Hell yeah. I drank my drink. Got a poster here. What do we got there? Red World, an abstract indie flick premiering at the Castro Theater. Uh, oh, 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 oh. All right. What do we got there? Z -z 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 -z. I'm sorry. What? Zazen? Poster for the band Zazen, one of the more popular live acts. Okay. Scrap Brain, a new single by Zazen, sponsored by Arena Box. Okay, this sounds like pretty typical, you know? Even in the future, all this shit is pretty much the same, right? New art exhibit, new drive in Fillmore District. Okay. Fire for Zone 3, a new arcade that opens on Christmas. Perfect! Who doesn't have anywhere else to go on Christmas but to an arcade? That sounds like something I would do, actually. I've saved the location to my memory. Excellent. Check it out after the investigation. After? I mean, you know, we got some time to blow. Let's go there now. <laughs> oh, wait, we can't because it's not Christmas yet. Right, 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 right. Okay, a chair. Use the chair. Not even a spinny chair. It only looks like one. Well, damn it. I like my spinny chair. It's a chair. All right. Well, we need to go get that data cache. 
I don't think it's really probably worth talking to anybody else at this point. Punk doesn't look too into what they're playing. Really? Hi! You checked out Mega Phobater. I heard the machine was donating the starters. Really has been having problems since it got here. Really? I just fucking kicked its ass not too long ago. Weren't you watching that? Hi. Something doesn't seem right once you get it to the boss, you know? Really? It seemed okay to me, but whatever. It's fine. Okay, let's go get that data, huh? Let's move this along. Oh, Jesus. Lots of traffic. Look around a little bit. Sign for Stardust. What a fancy neon script. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Aiden's apartment, I guess. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Oh, good. It's ED83, not ED209. <laughs> Reported off by the Neo SF Police Department as part of an ongoing investigation. Apologize for the inconvenience, but I'm not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. Uh, alright, let's play it cool. Play it cool. Everything alright? Sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigation. Turing, you want to mess this fucker up? He's in my way. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the detective in charge and will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. I may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. Oh my god. This is dystopia right now. Alright, I really need to get in there, you fuck. That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Only authorized Neo SFPD personnel may enter, huh? Huh, do we have any friends at the Neo SFPD? Required by law to inform you that I set at level 2 guard mode. Any effort to make unauthorized entry will be met with non-lethal force, sufficient to incapacitate. Well, okay, I'm glad you specified non-lethal. Apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute. I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. We should go ahead and get moving. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh, drat. I did not expect the police to get Drats? involved so quickly. Oh, the my situation goodness. is we... already growing out of our control. We probably shouldn't have spent so much time talking to Tomcat. I That's your fault, Turing. I we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing anymore, but we do have to move faster. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? Well... Hey, look at that. We got some friends. Who would that be? I don't know, but I'm sure the game will tell me. I found no such connection when I compiled your personal history. Because all the best information is not on the mesh net. Kind of new to this jurisdiction, but she'll talk to me. Give me a moment. Oh, I see now. Uh-oh, I don't like that little curvy-ass smirk. That's not a good sign. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. Strong name. Oh, okay. I must have missed that link in your history somehow. Yeah, somehow. You have a very poor net presence. <laughs> <laughs> Turing, you have no idea. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. That's probably for the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, play it straight. Play it straight. I prefer it that way. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree. Unreasonable? With your suggestion. Hey now, let's let's cut the shade a little bit there. Her online profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. <laughs> a considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation oh, for now. Oh Jesus! So many big words. During. I mean, you don't need to dumb it down for me, but come on. Aren't we pals by now? Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. <laughs> you just say, let's go find Lexi to talk to her or something. My goodness. Detective Rivers. Oh, right. Yeah. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? Yes, get your shit straight. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna keep all your teeth. Well, he doesn't have... It doesn't have teeth, so whatever. Just recommend. Done whatever. and done. Excellent. We wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? Well, I certainly... Now wouldn't. lead the way. 
All right, off to the police station. All right, the NSFPD. Let's go. Well, this is a fucking dump. All the charm of, well, any other old police department. Lol. Status screen. Let's take a look here. Wow, 47 years the police are actually kind of transparent about what they're doing? Fuck me. That's awesome. That's showing police activity. The dents. Alright, let's look at the dents. Even better days. Let's use the dents. Feels fragile. Maybe somebody punched or kicked those dents in. Alright, so we gotta fucking... Those? They're piling up over there. It was unfortunate jobs to organize all that. Alright. Desk. Paperwork. Use the desk. Can I not use the desk? I want to use the desk. I already have a desk job. <laughs> yeah, technically, I guess. Alright, so I guess that's my only recourse is to talk to this motherfucker here. Alright. ED64. You look suspiciously like the ED83 that was at uh, Hayden's apartment there, bro. Alright, let's talk to him. Oh, the Neo San Francisco Richmond District Police Station, Citizen Mr. Bond. Alright, that's weird. How many of you have assistance? I'm looking for Detective Lexi Rivers. <laughs> All you ED units look the same. Oh, that's terrible. All right, I'm looking for Detective Lexi Rivers. Oh, that's Mr. Bond. If he wants to get in contact with Detective Rivers. All right, take your time. I'll just have a little drinky drink while you're doing that. Out on assignment at the moment, but she's giving me her authorization to send you her way. All right, we're getting somewhere. Signed by the Carousel Building in Golden Gate Park, but I will caution you to exert care. Oh boy, that does not sound great. Okay. She's working an investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety should you approach. Uh, that's typical police. Anything else you can help me with? Uh, alright, let's play it, let's play it pretty straight and not, like, be all gushy about what they're doing here. Is there anything you can tell me that's newsworthy? Not authorized to comment on any ongoing investigations, but the protests outside Genus are a hot human interest topic. Perhaps you could look around there. Feel free to note the assistance of the Neo and blah 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 in my article. Uh, sure. We'll see about that. Anything else you can help me with? No, that's right. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay, let us go to the N. Uh, no, uh, yeah, here. Wait, no, that's where we were. Here, Golden Gate Park. Looks happy. Let's see what we got. Edgely dressed fellow, sharply dressed woman, a snack stand, a carousel. Okay, she's she's by the carousel, right? What else we got here? Oh, it's the fucking vandalized Froyo, whatever. SFPD ROM, there's Lexi, we got a building, an art studio, a water pump. Alright, let's look around. Pump controls the flow of water to the park ROM. Currently on and pumping strong. Let's use it. If you want water, I'm sure that public park ROM we saw on our way in can help. <sighs> Fine. Hey, brah. Give me some water. Public park ground. Rooms is designated to offer water and directions to tourists. Also takes donations. Well, that's nice. I don't have any money, though. Can we catch that little piece of paper now? All right. Let's talk. What do you Hello. got? Hello. Whoa, Jesus Christ. How may I help you? Would you like some cool, refreshing water? Uh, sure, I guess. Sure thing. Please wait. <laughs> okay, here you go. Uh... Thanks. Oh, I can use it on my plant. All right. Neat. Water levels. Okay. <laughs> Would you care to donate some credits to the Wrong. Recycling for a Greener Earth Foundation. Uh. Uh. Such moral, moralistic choices we got here. Uh, sure. Why not? Thank you so much. All right. How much did I fucking give you? This. <laughs> All right, let's look around. Taking a photo of his rom. All right, well, I don't really, I wanna talk Do you talk think I'd look nice in that hat? 
Um. <laughs> okay, um. I mean, you're kind of playing without it. Wonder to try, I guess. I, I really love that. Okay, okay, all right. Go Maybe with it. it would look better in orange or a green. No, I'm pretty sure the blue would match you better. But what do I know? Just a human. Perhaps a mauve. The fuck is mauve? Is that like a crazy maroon? I don't know what mauve is. Snack stand in the middle of the park. Coffee there is actually really great. Fuck yeah. Let's go get some great ass coffee. Oh, well, I already got my free water. All right, whatever. Originally built by the Herschel Spillman Company, 1914. One of the blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Uh, the add quote command is all one word there. No, no space in between. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. All right, all right. So we had we had our look around. Let's look at this dude. Bum, bum, bum. And uh, only a game over can add quotes because he's the only mod here. <laughs> lol, lol, lol. I can't just give that power to just anyone, man. Can you imagine the bedlam and madness that would result? At least it should have worked. I don't know, man. Or maybe it's quote ad. I don't know. Fucking, I don't remember. It's been so long since I've actually used it. All right, very distraught owner of a very destroyed Froyo stand. All right, let's talk to him. Let's talk. Can't you see I'm busy here? Oh uh, yeah, you look busy shrugging your damn shoulders. Look, I've gone through a lot today. Just give me some space, okay? All right, fine, fucking whatever. Jesus, try to help somebody. Hey there, long time. Yeah, no doubt. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. Oh uh, no, I'd believe it, honey, don't you worry. By the way, how's your sister doing? Uh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, wow. Epic level shade. All right, what's with the Froyo stand? I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy, huh? All right. Supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. Yeah, exactly. I guess it's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and getting a thrill out of some light vandalism. <laughs> what a thrill. Darkness and silence through the night. But the brass said to take so, it seriously. No, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> take it seriously. All right. Fair enough. Don't it's take not your time. like I have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down or anything. No, no. Absolutely. I mean, top brass knows best, right? Uh, if I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. That's right, Lexi. We're gonna we're gonna give you something hot pretty soon. So don't don't just take. What's the problem with you? Let's see. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. Eh, none of those sound really too bad, so whatever. Why'd you move? I transferred because the credits were good. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. A fair assumption. Instead, but an assumption, I'm stuck nonetheless. chasing ghosts and dead ends. Hmm. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. Hell yeah, that's what I'd like to hear. It's gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Yeah, sure is, missing persons. Uh, hold on one sec, let me steal a break from this guy. <laughs> so, fill me in, what's going on? All right, can we move away from the Froyo stand, dude? And will we talk about this, or is this, are we just gonna talk here? We're just gonna talk here, all right, all right. Hayden's gone missing. Oh, shoot, that's no good. Uh, how long have they been gone? I'll have a hard time getting a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. Ah, uh, well, there's some busted shit in his department, and I've got his little walkie-talkie robot here. Unfortunately, Detective, things are precisely that serious. 
I am Hayden's personal ROM, bum, and I bam. was witness to the kidnapping. Bum, 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 bum. Witness to the kidnapping. All I right. can assure you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. All right, all right. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. Uh -huh. I now believe he has been expecting trouble of this magnitude. And by help, you mean go get me involved in something. We need your help if we're going to track him down. Damn. All right then. That's I'll pretty do what heavy. I can to open up an investigation. That's pretty heavy, little robot. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but I can sure keep tabs on things for you. All right, that's cool. That's good. Uh, I was hoping we could keep this off the books. Yes, Aiden is a senior researcher at Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high-profile projects for the company. Yeah. All right. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure anything official goes nowhere. <laughs> Indeed. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. Well, a little robot talk's a good talk here. Lexi, can In you fact, help us out? we know there is already some kind of currently ongoing investigation. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. We were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. You know, you're a bit chattier than most ROMs. <laughs> That's what I said. I guess it makes sense that Parallax employees get the shiniest new toys, huh? Well, especially Parallax employees that work on their own shiny new toys. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't like you don't like the shade, do you, Turing? Yeah, suck on that for a bit. I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. All right, that's probably about the best we they can do. They wouldn't have for. left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully, it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax, and we'll figure this out. Promise. All right, that's some, that's some good thinking. Very logical. I appreciate that. Uh, oh boy. Is radio the guard round to let us in? No way, not gonna happen. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. All right, sorry. If there's already an investigation, I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence, cover up or not. At least okay, give me a day the to make sure they're doing the right. job right. Ah, uh, crap. All right, we can't wait a day. You might not have that Look, long. I'm taking this seriously, and so should you. We, wh what? Fucking, yeah, if we Hayden are, man. In real danger, you bumbling after whoever took him is just going to get you killed. Oh, all right. Hey, you're looking out for us. That's cool. I don't need that kind of crap on my conscience. All right, that's fair. That's fair. I, I can get... <clears throat> ah, all right. I'm going to put his life in danger because you don't want to stir the pot. I can handle myself. Yeah, all right. Sure you can. All the way up until you don't. Hey, hey, now, I get that shade from the robot. I don't need that shade from you, Lexi. Come on, man. I thought we were friends. I lost too much playing fast and loose with this kind of situation back home. I have to handle this. Ugh. I'll be careful. I just want to help my friend. No. I'm sorry, but we're not going to do it that way. Damn it. All right, maybe going you know to you, you wasn't think a good I'm just idea. I'm being paranoid, but the city is tense right now. With the protests and everything going on, you might be poking around in a hornet's nest. True enough. Let me do my job. I don't want you to get hurt. Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I <laughs> still care about you. <laughs> All right, well, fucking damn it. I'm getting mixed signals here, Lexi. Come on. All right, all right, I hear you. You better. I don't have a stick up my ass about regs, but I'm not going to send an untrained civilian into this alone. Much less a friend. Hey, an untrained civilian with a chatty ass ROM, I'll have you know. Now let's split up for a bit. I still gotta finish up this Froyo thing. I'll call you about the case later, all right? All right. Well, this is probably the best we could hope for. Well, that didn't go how I'd hoped, but yeah. maybe it isn't a total loss. <laughs> I have another idea on how to get us both inside the apartment. Uh, Turing, I don't know, man. 
That sounds like a bad idea where you're not listening to the same conversation I was. All right, what is it? What is it? I'll need to get my hands on Detective Rivers' police identification badge. Oh, Jesus, that sounds like a bad idea. I can just detect its outline in the fabric of her jacket pocket. I'll oh. need to be considerably closer to pull its near-field data. In, uh... All right, well... Uh... <laughs> we can't risk being too obvious. No shit, really? Fuck. Hmm. I'm sure you can come up with some way for me to scan it. I have faith in you. Oh, oh, jeez. All right, that's what? That's mistake number one right there. But okay. <sighs> All right, let's look at those dudes. This round's on assignment. Blah 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 blah. Edge is still firmly in place in her jacket pocket. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's a little on the nose, isn't it? Use Lexi. All right. Um, what kind of items do I have? I already drank my whiskey. I got the water. I got the headphones. I got the milk. Super spoiled milk. I got an ID card. Hmm. Hmm. All right. I still want to play this straight. So let's see what Hoppings we got. everywhere. The humanity of it. Okay, yeah, that's super Froyo hipster for you. The pretzel guy. Yes. Steve. He's been after this spot for years. Okay, um... Fucking... Tree, yeah, let's use the tree. Eucalyptus globulus, the Tasmanian right. blue gum. Thanks, thanks, Turing. You're a real smart person. <clears throat> you know a lot it's about plants, one of huh? My favorite treats. The clean lines of the leaves and modeled patterns of the bark are interesting. Oh, really? Tell me more, please. It's fun to paint, and it's a rather useful tree, too. And how's that? The oil in its leaves can be used as a medical antiseptic or analgesic, boiled huh. into tea, or used as flavoring in foods. Huh. That does sound interesting and useful. Even used as a fragrance for soaps. That's slightly less useful. Many of the trees in this park are excellent specimens of the species. It's one of the only topics I've <laughs> permanently committed to my personal memory. Wow. They've, they've, they've done some they've done some good work with this. I will tell you that. Oh, I do. However, I originally started by painting landscapes. My interest in the arts began through Bob Ross's work. Yeah, there we go. Landscapes. All right. Okay. Respect has increased for you, Turing. Bob Ross. Good name drop. Good name drop. He did it focus wasn't on landscapes. until recently that I moved on to other forms of composition. Ba, 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 Bro Bear Cub, hey there, how you doing? Ugh, whoa. Bad time to have shit wrong with my eyes. Bob Ross? Yes, everybody knows yes. Bob Ross. Have Fuck. you heard of him? Yes, of course I have. Everybody's heard of Bob Ross, even in 2064. During Jesus. my initial stages of mental growth, Hayden limited my media access to mostly only educational programs. <laughs> that was probably a good choice. I had oh almost goodness. a century of public access television to review, and I stumbled upon Mr. Ross's excellent show. Yeah, the joy, the joy of, of painting. painting. Fuck yeah. Oh, All right, Turing. All right. I'm starting to respect you a little bit more. He used an easy to learn wet on wet oil painting technique and I started to paint along with the episodes. <laughs> I also find his philosophical views compelling. Do, 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 he do. often used anecdotal stories from his life to illustrate his opinions. Stand up dude. That's for I sure. I respect the man quite deeply. I've committed all 403 episodes of the series to my personal <laughs> memory. Awesome. All right, personal memory. Ah, yes. I don't actually store most information on my local memory. It's actually rather limited, and I have to be a bit choosy about what I keep. Just like every other human in the world, my friend. 
so most of the information I utilize, I just pull off the mesh net when needed. <laughs> wow, this this is actually really on the nose for like humanity and technology. They did a good fucking job with this. It's like relearning Super things good. over and over again. <laughs> Sure, you would find it tedious, but I enjoy making sure my reference tables are up to date in my spare clock cycles. <laughs> that's a very nerdy way to put it, but that's pretty true. I mostly store things locally if they are of some critical importance to me, like information pertaining to personal memories or knowledge that would be helpful if I found myself disconnected from the net. Like the code to my fucking apartment door? You shit. Well, as I said, I keep things pertaining to my personal memory. It may seem insignificant, but without the information about eucalyptus globulates, I'd lack critical details about my painting history and the local area, both of which I find important to my emotional development. All right, that's that's fair. That's fair. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to know what's important and what isn't. Jesus. But I fear losing parts of myself. Wow, super on the nose and very indicative of humanity. Turing, you're all right so far. So, eucalyptus globulus stays. <laughs> Come on. Really? That's the only option I get? I mean, it's true, but Jesus. All right, okay, let's go of with it. Of course I'm cute. The basic ROM form factor is designed to place us firmly outside of the uncanny valley. Good. That was a good fucking choice, whoever made that decision. Jesus. I can't imagine adoption rates for the technology would have been very high otherwise. Of course, enough about the happy little trees. Oh, no, let's talk more about the happy little trees. You'll have to excuse me for chattering on like that. I don't have to excuse you, but I will this time because Bob Ross was mentioned. We'll have plenty of time to discuss things once we found Hayden. All right. Okay. So, Turing the Shade Master from before. I'm actually kind of getting a little attached to the little robot thing. Uh, okay. So we need to find a way to get Lexi's badge, or to get uh, Turing close to Lexi. Uh, okay. Can we do this? All right. Okay. That was good. That was good. Um. Let's talk to this dude and get some more water, I guess. Hello, I'm Alfie, I-83. Yes, I would love some water. Oh, you already seem to have a full glass of cool, refreshing water. I'll just wait here for you to finish it. Damn it, no. Give me... Some people see the glass half empty. Oh. Some see the glass half full. Alfie sees yours as completely full. And what 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 does that tell us about uh, Alfie's emotional state there, Turing? Come on. Ah, damn it, come on. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, let's talk to this lady. A lot of mixed feelings about this whole wearing a hat on a breezy day thing. You know, that's why hat pins were invented, lady. You pin, you literally pin the hat to your head. That would help you out a lot. Like a lot. All right, let's talk to this dude. Hey, could you take a photo of me and my adorably precious mom? Sure. Thanks. All right. <laughs> Ride the carousel, all right. I don't think you have time to ride it, even though it looks fun. Damn it, come on. All right, all right. Wait, whoa, 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 what's this? Oh, okay, that's that's my inner thoughts. All right, set personality modifier to kill joy. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> In-game me uh, has the right idea. Okay, can we do, let's look at the Froyo stand. Read about a newspaper? Yes, we did. We, that's one of the first things we read about. Let's use it. Thank you for you today. The entire strand was destroyed. I mean, it looks a little beat up, but let's let's talk to it. it wasn't activated by voice. Damn it. All right. Uh, maybe let's give it some super spoiled milk. Not supposed to be made with spoiled milk because it's not ever. Oh, God damn it. We will complete power over free refreshments. Lol. All right. Can we? Uh... Okay. Wait. So there's a little thing. Yeah. So there's a little bleeding when I deactivated it. So, sales permit? Oh, it must have been destroyed. Oh, stupid Froyo guy. Uh, fuck, what else can we do here? Let's look at the art studio. It's the 1968, blah, 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 blah. You know, I wonder if this is actually true. 
It seems like a detail they would have researched and put in here if it was true, so I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, this is probably a public art studio with classes and workshops. Uh, all right, um, give her my ID. I know who you are. Do you now? Well. Hmm. I don't know if I want to leave this mystery open until Wednesday. Let's, let's figure this out. Let's, uh, let's figure this out. I want to drink my water. I want to give the water to my plant, but all right, let's, let's drink the water. It's probably a good idea. I drank my water. Did I get a Chivo for that? All right. Hello, I'm Alfie. I eat. Yes, yeah, so I would love some water. Sure thing. I'll refill that right away. Please wait. All right, I'm waiting. Dude, where the fuck's my water? Oh. Oh, this is embarrassing. Yeah, it sure is I for you. I have run out of cool, refreshing water. <laughs> Whoa, all right. Jesus, Alfie, relax, man. It's just water. Uh... Oh, jeez, he is freaking the fuck out. Uh, oh, he is freaking out super hard. Water levels. Not okay. Water levels. Not okay. Water wow, levels. Jesus. Not okay. This guy, this guy is I'll going right nuts. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <sighs> well, that's, um... That's one way to do it. <laughs> All right, now what? Let me keep that under my Hey! What? I didn't do nothing. I got it for you. Don't worry about it, Lexi. Come on. <clears throat> what the hell are you doing with my ID? Hey, you dropped it. I was just picking it up to give it to you. Oh, excuse me, Detective Rivers. I noticed it fell out of your pocket after that wayward ROM crashed into you. And I wanted to make sure it didn't get lost in the shuffle. Hey, go, Turing. You're lying. That's some good work. Huh. Yeah, what? see? What see? You said it was a ROM? Yeah, it was that crazy-ass, water-ass ROM, like, freaking out about nothing. Yes, it seemed to be following faulty programming of some kind. Perhaps it was the same one that damaged this vendor's cart? All right, Turing, really, you don't gotta sell it any harder. <laughs> it headed off in that direction. Guess I should check it out. Not uh, like I have any other leads on this jackpot of a case. Yeah, no shit, right? Hey, you. Froyo guy? Check <laughs> along with me in case I need you to identify the bot. La, 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 la. Who? Me? Yeah, but you, you shit. I've got to attend my stand. It's fucking destroyed, man. Come on. What are you going to do? Sell no Froyo? Go with the fucking detective, you idiot. Cut the crap. Yeah. Lexi taking no garbage. Sure I love nobody that. nobody messes with the crime scene. That's fucking right. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, get your shit in line, my friend. And you too. Don't think I don't know you're up to something. Hey. Keep your nose is clean. Don't worry about Lexi. We're fine. I'll be in touch. Don't, don't you worry. We're 100% above board. Can I turn on the water thing again? As I was saying, let me keep it under my hat for now. I am more than just a walking search engine, you know. I mean, that was a pretty good lie, but the second part you probably didn't need. But whatever, who Dramatics am I to judge? Aside, we should return to Hayden's apartment. Oh dear. Alright, can I turn this back on? Oh, yes! Turn it on! Boosh! Yeah! Oh, I was expecting more of a... I was expecting more than that, but that's fine. <laughs> can we give him the spoiled milk? Oh, what happened to my milk? Oh, I lost the milk somehow! All right, well, whatever, I guess it's fine. All right, everything else is looking fine. All right. Oh, that's right, it doesn't auto-save. I need to remember to fucking save. Uh, all right, let's 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 stay here for now. Uh, menu, 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 menu. Save, save, save as, uh, all right, we need some clever save game names here. Royo Gone bad Oop Gone Bad Blop 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 There we go Excellent Now we'll certainly remember what the fuck that means For next time <laughs> Woo Okay 
Oh. It's a good game. It's nice and chill. I love it. I love it. All right. We're done for tonight. Next stream will be Wednesday night, 7 p.m. CDT. We'll continue with uh, 2064 read-only memories. This is actually really fun. I get to drink a bunch. I get to have a nice chill time, read, read some stuff, throw shade on a robot. Man, everything's just coming up Millhouse. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you on Wednesday. Bye-bye.